Now that you have your presentation ready, let us explore how to use the editor to edit the contents of the presentation. This editor is similar to that of PowerPoint or Google Slides. On the left is the Slide Navigator, where you can see all the slides in the presentation. The center panel shows the current slide, where you can edit the contents of this slide. The right toolbar has options which allows you to change settings for the entire presentation. Below each slide, there are contextual options which allows you to configure content and design for that particular slide. Let us first go and modify the title of the presentation. Let's change it to Impact of Global Warming and Climate Change. As you can see here, when we're editing text, we get formatting options related to that text box. Let's increase the font size a bit. Let's go here and make it 72. If you want to change the color, we can change it from here. Let's make it blue for now. And then if we want to change the image on this slide, we just click on the image and click on Replace icon here. This opens up the image panel where we can change the image. In this panel, we can search for images, logos, people, or even upload our images. For now, let's use Climate Change as a keyword for the image that we want. And when we click on the Search button, it searches for the relevant images and shows them here. Let's insert this image for now. As you can see, the image has been added to our slide. Now, if we want to zoom into the image, we can just go and click on Crop and then zoom into the image using the slider. Further, you can drag the image around to reposition it to center. To apply the changes, click on Done. Here. And with these changes, our intro slide is as we intended it to be. Let's move to another slide and change how content is displayed in it. For example, in this slide, what if we wanted to remove the icons, which is placed along with the text? To do that, just click on the Type icon here and select the option Bullet List. The slide now converts to a bullet list, without any icons. There are multiple display options available for each slide that are contextual to the slide. Now let's say we do not want this image at all. We can either go and delete it here, or we can go and change the layout from here where it shows us all the possible layouts for the slide. There are multiple layouts available here for you to explore. Now, when it comes to design, there are multiple ways you can change the design. You can change the entire visual language of the presentation through templates or styles. There are multiple styles available, each having their own visuals and patterns. For now, we are going to skip changing this, but this is something you should definitely explore. To change just the color and font of the presentation, go to the theme section in the toolbar. You can select any theme from here by just clicking on it, and it instantly updates all the slides in the presentation. And you can also change the font by switching to the Fonts tab and then selecting an available font. Now that the design is done, let's go and explore one of the slides which has a chart in it. As you can see, this chart already has some data plotted on it. If you want to edit the data for the chart, you just click on Edit Slide Content here, and it shows the data of the chart in a tabular format. Here, you can either add a row, you can even delete a row, or you can change the values of a data point. Click on Save button once you are done, and the chart updates. To change the chart type, use Type option and select from the list of chart types that we support. To add a new slide to the presentation, use the Add Slide option. When you click on it, it opens up all the slide templates that are supported. Here, you can select a slide template that you want to add, and then further customize its content and design. For now, we'll skip adding a new slide, but let's quickly skim through a few of the slide templates available for you to pick and choose from. Let's close this for now. Next, we'll see how to share and export this presentation. There are multiple ways in which you can share this presentation. The easiest option is to publish the presentation as a live link. In the Publish screen, just click on Copy Link button, and then you can send this link to anybody over email or even post on social media. Anyone with access to this link can then view the live presentation. Alternatively, you can also download the presentation as a PPT or a PDF file by using Export option. 
Here you can download the presentation as a PDF file or even export as a PPT file. In addition, if you want to collaborate with your team members to edit or review the presentation along with you, you can use one of these options, wherein you can invite team members using their email. This concludes our tutorial for now. There are a lot more features available in Presentations.ai, which we will cover in the other videos. Thank you for watching.